Hi everybody, this is Jason of Schleis Bonsai Supplies. Today I wanted to talk about insects. There's many different types of organisms that affect bonsai trees. Some of the more common ones that I see on a regular basis are scale, classify them in three different types. Uh, one is armored scale, one is the soft body scale which excretes the honeydew, uh, and then one is the mealybugs which also excretes the honeydew. And these all are treated pretty much the same way, although the armored scale is a little bit more difficult to eradicate because of the armor coating. We can either use a, an oil, such as neem oil, or a light oil in the summer months, like uh, horticultural oil, uh, or in, in the cooler times of the year, like uh, bulk oil. Uh, these all work by basically suffocating the scale, suffocating the insect. Um, and it works very well. The problem is most scale insects and piercing sucking insects are on the under, underside of the leaf. If you don't spray correctly on the top of the leaf, on the bottom of the leaf, on the stems where the insect is, you won't eliminate the problem. And also you need to reapply every seven to ten days. Um, a lot of times because you didn't spray you might have missed a spot uh, with the first spray. Also, the eggs might have hatched, and you may have to spray to wipe out the, the juveniles. Uh, juvenile scale insects actually have legs and will crawl uh, through different parts of the plant. So it's also a good idea to identify them early, because that's the time when they'll infest other plants. It's a good time to um, spray, usually uh, is spring. If it gets really hot, uh, some people notice that oils will actually burn the foliage. It's usually because you've applied it the wrong time of day. But some types of conifers, it will affect, it'll burn the foliage. When you have an infestation and you want it eliminated, uh, the, the other good products to use for piercing sucking insects, especially something that, such as scale, which exudes a waxy coating which makes treatment very difficult is a systemic insecticide that you'll actually put around the roots that is uptaken through the plant, put in through the vascular system of the plant. The piercing sucking insect through its piercing mouth parts intakes the insecticide and dies. Uh, there's an active ingredient called imidacloprid which is a pretty good systemic uh, and also uh, acephate is another older uh, product which is a pretty good systemic. I'm worried about applying that with my trees that have flowers because uh, there's some, uh, some evidence that it could be contributing to some uh, disorder with the bees and because we have a couple aviaries here on the property, I try not to apply any systemics when anything is in bloom uh, or is about to be in bloom. That's very important because we don't want to harm the beneficial insects. That's really why I like using oils. Because the oils, if you spray at the right time of day when the predator insects aren't around, it doesn't kill any of them when they come to the um, plant later uh, looking for prey. When we normally treat for piercing sucking insects here at the nursery, what I typically use is neem oil. Uh, this is the product that we've been using for the last couple years with good results. Uh, according to the label, it does need an emulsifier. Uh, on the label, they suggest to use the Protec. It seems to help my maples uh, with leaf burn. Also seems to keep the trees just a little stronger, a little hardier, a little bit more vigorous. I can also use Dawn Dish Detergent as an emulsifier instead of the Protec. If you don't have Protec, it's another way to apply your oils uh, more evenly on the leaves. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate all your support. If you have any um, other questions or anything else that you'd like video on, um, don't hesitate to ask.